Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into the never ever met. Let's go. So we start with these two. They're still tussling in the kitchen. The reason it, what happened was she was like really going in with Greg about his shorts and he felt a certain way. Now I do agree she was doing too much, but I'm glad that she brought this trait out in him because she won't waste a lot of her time. They've only been dating six months. They sent him to a hotel the next day. They played a video for her. He was apologizing and eventually they had to leave because it's a no tolerance no hands on nobody for no other reason other than you know the bang bang but they had to go so baby shay and josh i need to go on their instagram and see what they doing in real life because on this show right here they they getting it done right she didn't come out here with her head wrapped up but they've already smashed already so they had a karma sutra activity to do child they got there and the two things that they had to choose from they walked up and said we've already done this so they did something called the curl up and where that was where he was behind her like spooning a little bit and they're good this is i feel i want them to make it because they are tuned in chemistry flowing everywhere is so much actual energy it's off the roof. Child, this right here is a mess. Joanna and Aaron, I need... To... <laughs> Child, they just pin pals. So when they get up here to... Wait a minute. Before I say this, I need you to understand. Hold on, let me move this over. Joanna is a sexologist, okay? Who lives a sexually open lifestyle. Baby, when they walked up to the activity... And one of the things that they had to choose from was a reverse cowgirl. He had no idea what that was. I knew right then it's over. <laughs> so they chose the landslide. And the landslide is where the woman is like on her stomach. And I think her feet were up. And he was supposed to slide in the back of her. Right? Like he was sitting up and just slid in the back. <sighs> child he talking about he feeling it she's sitting up there like she wants some popcorn like it's the worst this this right here this not gonna work these two are something else now he had an indiscretion on her before they've ever met and she's happy to meet him i think they done smashed also but that i mean aaron had a lot of stuff to say to alexis about dominic um, he was like, he has a daughter her age, so she can't accept it because if he did it before, he's going to do it again. And Diamond was furious, right? But these two are something else. So their Karma Sutra activity was splitting bamboo, right? Child, they said, we could do whatever. We don't even care. He, Aaron, he said, I don't care who's looking. I will kiss this. I will lick this woman's toes on the side of the road. I'm paraphrasing. And honey, they were so comfortable that they chose something. It was like, her, it was splitting the bamboo. So her leg was up in the air like this. And he was like, child, he was in there. <laughs> Let's keep going. My bad. It wasn't Aaron who didn't know what the reverse cowgirl was. It was Chris who did not know right? They did something called the Lotus Blossom. And this is where they had to sit on top, like she sat on top of him and they were face to face and they had to say things about each other. It was cute what they did, but he is really, he was fine for what he did last week. Like last week, she heard him talking to the guys about you know, like, I can get girls. I can get girls whenever I want to get girls. I'm not with nobody. So that made her feel crazy because you've been talking to this girl three months on the internet talking about you're not with nobody. So he gaslights her to death. He told her that he doesn't trust women. She's like, why, why are you here with me? He was like, I'm learning. I'm building. I'm learning to trust you. At the end of it, she was like, she's in it. She wants to make it work. I don't know about this. I don't think she can trust him. It's not about him trusting her. I don't think she can trust him. Because for him to yell out, I can get girls. Sir, go get them. Millie and Greg was low key, right? Um, they're doing great. They were in the hot tub and Aaron was in the hot tub while Joanna was in the house. Like, Joanna and Aaron have no connection, right? But back to them. Um, they chose the eagle. And the way the eagle was... Uh, she was on her back 
and her legs were like east and west, right? And he was excited about it. She was like, oh, this is cool. I can see this is something that we can do later on. And then when they, they were talking later on that night, you know, he's ready. She's like, um, we got to get to know each other, this, that, and the third. And he was like, it's just going to take me some time. It, he said, any other girl, I've been ready to go, got it, and gone. But he said, I'm going to I'm gonna have to do this right. I like them. They live 30 minutes apart. I really want them to work. They were good. These two right here, they're not going to make it. Mm -mm. They're not going to make it. Um, Sienna and Brandon have been talking for 10 months. And within that 10 months, when they played the playback, she told him that she is willing, if she's feeling somebody, she's willing to move. Fast forward to the meet and greet face to face. She tells him that she doesn't even like Florida. And he doesn't want to leave because he has a 13-year-old son and a 4-year-old daughter. Four. So their activity is called the ship, right? And it's where he was laying down on his back and she was sitting on top of him. But she was kind of faced the other direction. So the host was like, why would you pick that? She was like, mm, look like the easiest thing to do. He was like, I want to get the remote control. And then the host was like, well, you got to work at it, right? So they looked so awkward. It was just horrible. So now we get back in the house and we're talking. They're playing pool, right? And he said that she was inconsistent. And when he said that, she said, you don't say that to me. You hurt my feelings because other guys have said that to me. So clearly, she's inconsistent. She fooled around here and called him the B word. I don't, I don't see how she can come back after that. But then it was so crazy because then when she got an audience, it was like, he said, this is not something that she doesn't know. We've had this conversation before. And then she went to talk about, if I'm inconsistent, you're inconsistent because you can't commit to a relationship why are you divorced you have children by multiple women you can't be you can't commit it was a mess and i think after she called that man to be where it's over and what added insult to injury is that she saw him talking to millie about her but she was talking to greg about him and they're gonna be talking about that next week child yeah i love this show so I hope y'all have enjoyed it. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.